It's what we play for. It's what we dream about playing street hockey outside. It's game number seven here on EA Sports. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Feeds it to Everly. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Shoots from along the wall. Denies him with the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. The Swamp Rabbits win the defensive zone faceoff. Such a swooping in on the attack. Sends the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Greenville's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Here's a shot. And that doesn't reach the net. Big play inside the defensive zone. Pendenza's lugging the puck. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. Moves the puck. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Bedgard's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Makes the save. Here's a chance in front. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. The Swamp Rabbits win the draw here in their own end. Coils stick handling in his own zone. now. Picked up along the boards by Jostling. Florida's got it in their own zone. The Everblades play it along the boards. Florida's on the attack. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Turn that one aside. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Well, the official is right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. First power play opportunity of the game, and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Pendenza's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. There's another consecutive save. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Answering the call there. Center field. And that's intercepted. And manages to clear the zone. And a little physicality ends that threat. And that was stopped. Takes that pass back at the point. Center field. And that doesn't connect. Great reach with the poke check by Pendenza. Both sides back to even strength. 
One on one with the goaltender. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this James. He scores. Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Well, it's a quick release shot, James, but it goes off of the inside of the post. Sometimes it redirects out. This time, it redirects in. The Everblades finally break the ice and get the game's first goal. Yeah, and it's an important one, James, because there's not much room out there and not much separating these two teams. So that little bit of a cushion may give them the stir, the press they need to be more consistent and try and get another one on the board. Strong defensive effort. Greenville's looking to break out of their own end. The Swamp Rabbits have it now. Great defensive effort with the stick. Puck scooped up by Stales. Darcy's running and gunning tonight, James. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Trying to gain a step. He's in. All alone. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Everblades lead it 1-0. Steps in and takes the puck. Carries it in. And he takes the dish. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! Two goals in right around a minute 40. Quick response back to back here, and the team is humming. Yeah, and talk about putting your opponent on their heels. Teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Shot! Oh, denies them with the paddle save! The Everblades take it along the wing. Puck sails onto the bench, sending a few people ducking. Florida's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Takes the pass. He got all of that hit. Takes it along the wall by Coyle. Fires it on net. Wide of the net. Florida's got the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Coburn. Gaining momentum up along the side. Sends the pass over. And he takes a shot. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Here in the back half of this period, the Everblades have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Florida's got it in the offensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And he turned that one aside. The Swamp Rabbits have it now. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Play rolls on. Handles the puck. And it's a quick pass to Jostley. Takes a shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Bittnard. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Rams control of it at the point. Oh, and he put it up and over the net. Now you work so hard to get your eyes on the net. He sees some daylight. He goes for it, but it's a little too fine, and it's up and over. Florida's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, great read on the play. Such has got it against the boards. Great puck check on the reach. Picks up the puck in his own end. Florida's in transition. Penalty coming up here. The Swamp Rabbits have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Here's the first 
look at the power play. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. And the puck clears the zone. The Everblades will play it in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Dumps it in. The Swamp Rabbits will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And the puck leaves the zone. There's a shot denied by the goaltender. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Moves it quickly over to Kemp. Florida's got possession here in the offensive zone. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Souch's penalty is almost expired. Greenville's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up. But you can have all the possession time in the world, but if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. The Swamp Rabbits move to the offensive zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Swamp Rabbits take possession in the defensive end. Shot! And that one's denied! And he takes the feed. By Stales. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. And he's ridden off the puck. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Slides it diagonally to Stales. Pass it up ahead. The Swamp Rabbits get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Freeman. Great heads up play with the stick by Riley. dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Florida's got the puck against the half wall. Quick shot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Shot. Turned aside with the glove by Bednar. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Late goings of this period. 2-0 is where we sit. Greenville's got possession here in their own end. Moves it to Sandbrook. Greenville's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. There's the whistle, let's get the official decision. Jocelyn's been nabbed for tripping. puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. And they win the draw here in their own end. And they manage to clear it. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Well, that brings it into period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. The Swamp Rabbits go right back out on the power play here and win the draw to start the frame. Fires it into the offensive zone. And that's knocked away by Pendenza. Trying to gain a step. Nice poke check. The 
Jeff Rabbits are in transition. Quick feed to Everly. Gets in front of it. The Swamp Rabbits run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Well, there's players on the bench that would kill for that opportunity. Just no urgency whatsoever from that power play unit and didn't generate any momentum. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Oh, what a stop by Bittner. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Marks hold down, penalty on the way. Florida's moving it into the offensive end. Let's see the call here. Such as going off to the box for two minutes. once again send out their power play unit. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they gotta find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. The Everblades have it against the wall. With some open space at center. From the point, looks to make something happen. Florida's got the puck. Grabbed along the board by Martin. The Everblades get a hold of the puck. Florida's looking to break out. And he takes the feed. Slides the puck over. Let's go! Right with the man advantage, and they make it click. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. Florida's added yet another to extend this lead, and they are just flying tonight here in period number two. And they've completely worn their opponent down, so they have no energy to get to the puck or try and create. And this is a testament to their whole lineup. They came ready to play. And he takes the pass. That's intercepted. Battle ensues for that loose puck on the boards. Handles the pass at center. And not much on that one. Riley's got it in the defensive end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Bednar's really struggled tonight, and the team in front of them as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum at this game if they want to get back in it. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. Coburn's got it on the offensive end. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Slip feed. Pinned up along the boards. Florida's got possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Coburn. Florida's got it along the wall. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Puck picked up by Everly. Puts it on there. Oh, oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Well, you can see him shaking his head and arguing with the official, James, but they're not changing their mind. This is a penalty. Another chance here on the man advantage. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Florida's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Tries to get it to Coyle. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a feed in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Moves into the slot. Scores! And they capitalize with the extra player on the ice, and it's a power play goal. While using the advantage of having extra ice available,
level to them, James. That's why their most skilled players are on the ice. That one's executed to perfection. The Swamp Rabbits desperately needed that one here. They did, and one of the key elements for them to have success is to support the puck. Feel like they've been isolated a lot in this game, but a lot of runway left over a period to play in order to get back in. From the neutral zone now. With possession along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Condenza. Poked away in the defensive end. Off target. Taken by Moore. Just wide. Moves it quickly over to Condenza. Puck scooped up by Quinn. Here they come on the attack. Good defensive effort to pick it away. Stop. Deflated. They gotta find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front, goaltender can't find it, and guess what? It's in the back of the cage. Greenville suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second, and they've got themselves within one. A lot of runway to go. Sandbrook's got it along the wing. The Swamp Rabbits have it from their own end. Oh, that was pulverizing in the corner. Here they come up along the wing. Coughs up the puck after that hit. The Everblades will play it from the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. Quick shot. Big time stop. Both sides lining up for the face-off, and I can think of one padded goaltender who would love nothing more than a quick clear here, Cheryl. Oh, uh, you know it, James, because the puck has been in the offensive zone. Just look at the last shift where they maintained pressure throughout that shift until they got that whistle. So they'll need to continue that because if you're the opponent and you're saying, hey, who's most vulnerable right now? You know it's the goaltender, so you want to keep him hemmed in. Oh! Them off against the wall. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Takes the feed. Oh, he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. The Swamp Rabbits have time to work with, but they need to convert on one of these scoring chances as they are trailing here in the second. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Fires it! Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Past the midway mark in this period, 3-2 is where we're sitting. Greenville's taking possession in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Shot, and that's blocked. Slides it on over to a pack. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Picked up along the wall by Cobran. In close, stopped by the goaltender. Great reach with the stick by Cobran. Greenville's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Ah, uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. They've been behind all game, but they've clawed their way back with good habits, and they find themselves at an even score. The Swamp Rabbits have been dressing, and they finally get rewarded for that goal. They get rewarded, and now they can't sit back. They have to continue to attack and look to go ahead. Greenville's won the faceoff at center. Moves around along the half wall. Florida's got the puck. And 
just taking it from his own end. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Getting into the later stages of this period, we are all tied up in this one. The Swamp Rabbits start with the puck in their own end. The Everblades gain possession along the wall. is gonna play the puck behind the cage. Great pressure with the stick. Handles it along the blue line. Club save! In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The setters will glide into the dot. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that pass attempt is deflected. Greenville's got it in their own zone. The Swamp Rabbits play it along the wing. Quick pass across to Stales. Gains the zone on the left wing. Angles it over to Moberg. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Everblades are in the driver's seat now with that one goal lead and timing, Cheryl, late here in this period. That's huge. That's a huge booster for them, James, not only in terms of their confidence, but also the recognition of where they are heading into the intermission. Now it's about staying aggressive, but managing the puck. They need good blue line decisions. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Moberts moving the puck through his own zone. Pushes it across to Stales. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Kent's got the puck in his own zone. Good hit on the play. Puck grab by Kemp. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Receives the pass. And a strong effort on that play. Oh, what a big stop! Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Jostled off the puck. Skates across the blue line. Wicked blast! And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. Fresh after that second intermission, we're ready to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a throwback to 80s hockey here, and we are underway here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Greenville's right where they should be in this game, behind James. It's been earned because they've been scrambling in their own zone. They've been disjointed and disconnected, and they haven't had any puck possession. When you don't have the puck on your stick, you can't generate any offense at all. Up by one, and you take the penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. Well, listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1, where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Looking to break out here on the power play. Greenville's in on the offensive attack now. Florida's got the puck short-handed. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Great reach with the poke check. Cormier's going to 
to wait for the whistle, and I don't mind this strategy here, Cheryl. Me neither. I mean, he's having himself a game, isn't he, James? He mm -hmm. has been dominant between the pipes, and he knows he needs to pounce on this puck. He looks up at the game clock. They're winning. Not much time left in the third. they got to figure out a way to play it safe. Works it across to Coyle. Has some smart heads-up defensive play. by right over. Florida's PK unit comes up clutch. Made the stop on the play. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone. Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. Florida's got a hold of the puck. The Everblades have it now. Centering team, and it's blocked! The score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. Florida sending a quick message here early in this third period with that goal, Cheryl. We are not slowing down. It's not slowing down, and it's entertaining when you provide offense right off the hop. We love to see it, and you know who does it? Their opponent. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a shot. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Florida's on the attack. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. The Swamp Rabbits have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert trailing here in this third. Darcy's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save on Pittsburgh! Scrum along the wall. Takes possession. Oh, scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leading a lasting impression. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Greenville's got to be feeling confident now, getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know face-off and dictate the pace. There's another great save! Denies him! What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they gotta start playing. Takes the feed. Here's a chance! Oh, it makes the save just got enough to keep it out. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Mover. Loose puck battle along the boards. Jocelyn's gonna play it against the half wall. For point blank, denies him in close. Scoops up the puck now. Handles the pass. Moves the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Swamp Rabbit scoop it up along the boards. Still has possession. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out.
Greenville's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Moves it to Carpenter. The lane was plugged up in that shot's block. Back to the point it goes. Quick pass to Pendenza. Trying to get the puck away from the Inferno here. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? It's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. Such has got it in the offensive zone. Shot! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Cormier! Past the midway mark of the frame, it's a one-goal hockey game in what has been a fantastic display of offense. It's 5-4. And now it's grabbed by Sambra. And he takes the dish. And now he angles it across to Neighbor. Reaches out and uses the stick. And the puck's kicked free. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Florida's got it along the wall. And they'll dump it in. The Swamp Rabbits have it now. Takes the pass. Greenville's got a hold of the puck now. Denies him! Cornet's made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a grade-A scoring area. Takes the feed. Tries to get the puck to Greenway. Here's a shot! Blocked in traffic. Greenville's playing it from the side. The Everblades take over on possession. Taken along the wall by Sambra. Over the line they come. The Everblades are pretty lucky to have their depth players really rolling and feeling it tonight, James. You know, when you get out there and you see that jump to their step, it sends a message right through the entire bench. The Swamp Rabbits have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. The Everblades win the draw. Puts it on goal. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Greenville's won the defensive zone draw. Takes control of the puck. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Greenville's got it now. Florida's looking to break out. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Driving right to the front with the stop. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Just here in the late stages of this frame, one goal game here. 5-4 is where we sit. The Everblades win that offensive zone faceoff. Misses wide of the net. Sends the pass over. The Swamp Rabbits move the puck in the defensive zone. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Riley. Picks up the puck. Good hit to put him off the puck. Carpenter's working it around in the corner. Scores! Coaches always say, take away the eyes of the goaltender, and this is exactly why you can see him trying to find the puck at every corner, reaching around bodies up and down, but he can't find this puck, and it winds up in the back of the net. Both centers ready to take the draw here, coming up. Pendenza's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. And there's a blocker stop by Bittner. Here's a chance to set up now. Uh, oh, slick work with the glove by Bittner. A critical draw here. Here's a change.
Florida's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Fires one and makes the save. Too much traffic in the lane. Greenville's moving it up the ice. And that's poked away. Florida's got it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Oh, he'll feel that one. Handles the puck. Here they come on the rush. And he's got the answer for that one. Jocelyn's got it in the defensive end. Line change. That's a great heads up play to break up the pass. Coyle's lugging the puck. And they send it right back to him. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you gotta find the back of the net at the very least. Hit it, James. The Swamp Rabbits have it against the wall. Florida's looking to break out of their own end. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Cormier. everywhere, even when it was the empty net. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. The Swamp Rabbits win the draw. Handles the bank pass the long boards. Big save just as time runs out. There's the horn, and they're moving on. They're moving on. They've got to feel good. Enjoy it, but this is one that you can't really savor for too long, right, Cheryl? Well, mission accomplished of step one, James. They get through the round, and they battled hard for it. Now it's about getting the rest and relaxation they need in order to recharge for the next series. the night to an end and we will say goodbye here from rinkside from all of us here at ea sports my name is james sabalski i gotta get to bed see ya